All right, uh, today we're going to learn how to make one of these little boxes. Right? It's made with all playing cards and there's no glue or tape used. They just uh, are folded and fit together. Uh, it does have a lid. You can put something inside if you want. Uh, I thought with Christmas coming up this might be make a nice gift box for somebody. Uh, I found a tutorial for this online. Uh, it was just uh, picture, pictures and text. I'll leave a link for it uh, in the description over there if you want to see the original text. Uh, first of all, to make this you need 21 playing cards. So go get an old deck and get 21 cards. And the first thing we're going to make is a wall. And it's fairly simple. You just need two playing cards. And you're going to cross them like this. You want to make sure that, that it's an even amount here and here. And you're just going to fold this edge over the other card like that. And make sure this card is tight into that fold. And then you're going to fold this edge over. Now turn it all over and we're going to do the same thing with this side. Uh, make sure it's even. Got an even amount here and here. And you're going to fold this edge over. And uh, make sure that's tight in there. And then fold this edge over. Now you got to take everything apart and fit them back together to make the wall. And uh, these flaps fit together like this. You want to get the single flap in between those two flaps there. And you want to get this flap into those flaps there. And you get the corners started and then sort of push in the center here. It brings those corners in. And there you go, that's how you make a wall. And uh, now we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now once you've made the wall, uh, you're gonna have to make uh, six of these because we're making a cube. So you want uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six walls. And then we're gonna start putting them together. First, we're gonna do the sides and to put the sides together, you're going to take a playing card and just fold it in half. All right, we'll just do two sides here. Then you take that single card and slip it into this little pocket that you made here. Like that. And then this one goes on the other side. And that's a corner. Now you're going to make up some more of these and continue on putting your walls together until you have all four sides. And just uh, push them in nicely. Now it's nice to keep them all the same. It looks nice. It, it gives a nice pattern. You can do it uh, however you want once you learn how to do this. You can use different uh, colored cards or you can put the faces on the outside. It's up to you. Uh, now let's uh, move on to the next step. All right, the next step is uh, we're going to put a bottom on our box. And to do that, you're going to take one of the walls and uh, one of these little hinge flaps, but you're going to put all four of them in this one wall. So it's going to end up looking like this. All right? Now this is probably the trickiest part. You're going to have to get all four of these flaps going and then you can uh, push the bottom on. I like to start uh, one flap here and get these side ones in there and then 
push in this last wall there. It's a little tricky to get them all to line up once you get them in. You can look inside too, make sure they're going in the sleeves and not just inside the box. And then you just push that in. And tighten it up there. And now you've got a nice bottom. And uh, the next phase is the lid. All right, now we're going to make the lid. Uh, the lid is just another wall and one flap. You're going to put your flap in here and just stick it on one side. Uh, sometimes you can feel the other card that's stuck up this way, so you want to just sort of wiggle it around and you'll get past that other card. You can slide that in. And there's your lid. And that pretty much finishes it up. Uh, now it's up to you. Uh, once you've learned how to make this, you can choose different cards for the different sides, uh, make different designs. And that's all up to you. I'll show you a couple designs I've made here. Okay, let's take a look at a couple designs here. Uh, we started off showing you this box. I put all Ace of Spades around the outside, which is kind of nice. It's just got a regular back on the bottom and a back on the top. And all the backs are on the inside. Now, if you use different cards, I found that uh, Tally Hose make a really nice box. The circles make really good sides. And then on the inside, on the bottom, I put the Tally Ho Ace of Spades. And uh, one uh, thing I should point out, to make really nice corners, you see that's nice and white. Uh, if you look on these here, you can see the back of the playing card shining through. So what I did with these corners is I used, you can use either a four or a two and fold that as your hinge, so that would go this way. And that gives you a nice white corner, so your corners look really nice. So uh, that's about it. Uh, I'd like to see uh, some of you make some videos and make some boxes, see what kind of creative uh, things you come up with. I was thinking too, you could probably uh, make a box, like two boxes wide. You could just leave off these sides here and then connect the two boxes and put the lids together, you can have a bigger box. So let's uh, just see what you guys can come up with.